guys karibuni tena to yet another fantastic episode here at Kaluhi's Kitchen. As always, it is a thrill to have you guys join me for yet another amazing video. And for today, we're going to make some crepes and this has been highly requested, especially on Twitter. Some people find it challenging to make crepes that are beautiful, that are delicious, that are light and crispy at the edges. So today, I'm going to take you through how easy it is to make and so that you guys can also enjoy the same rice at home. To my returning service, thank you so much for always joining me here and to my new watchers, I know, I know, <laughs> after this video, I'm going to add your subscription. With that said, guys, let's go back to basics and let's make some fantastic crepes. Kariboni. Okay, love, we are now ready to go. And as always, on this channel, I have to explain the whys and how so that you guys can ace it and understand the reason for doing things and always get a good result at home. Now, during Guinea, you know, complain, Kaluhi, why are you talking? Because I have to talk so that you guys can understand. And beyond that, it will be also easy for you to go beyond the foundational recipe and twist this around and make fantastic renditions of crepes. So Kenyans call crepes pancakes. I don't think it's a big deal. It's just something cultural that we do. They are one and the same thing. However, the original name is a crepe. People call it pancakes. To me, it's not a big deal. It's one and the same thing. These are the ingredients you're going to need for the foundational recipe. They're just five, which makes it even more amazing because it makes it easy for you guys to try this at home. Once you master the foundational recipe, that's when you can go ahead and and make crepes that include other things. You can add your warm spices, you can add coconut flakes. We've done that recipe in 2017, so check it out. You can add Nutella if you like Nutella. I detest Nutella. You can add so many other things. You can add orange zest. You can add anything to make it more exciting. But first, guys, you need to master the foundational recipe. So with that, let's begin the cooking. To our bowl, we're going to add in our sugar our vanilla essence and our egg. We're going to whisk until pale yellow and frothy. This is now perfect. And with that, we are ready for the next step. As you can see, this is now very frothy and that is a clear indicator that the sugar in particular is now perfectly combined. So with this done, we're going to go ahead and add the remaining ingredients and that is our milk and the flour. These are the foundational ingredients in my opinion for amazing crepes. This is all purpose flour and the milk is particularly important because it will determine the consistency of your butter. When I cook alone, I actually don't measure anything. I only measure when I'm working, like when I'm creating for YouTube and the blog. But otherwise, when I'm just at home, I eyeball. When you're making crepes in particular, and especially when you're eyeballing, what will guide you as to know if you are on the right track is the consistency. The right consistency for amazing crepes is a very light butter. When I say light, I mean the same consistency as that of a cheap yogurt. That lightness, it's heavy, but it's pretty light and viscous. So let's add in the remaining ingredients. Then I'm going to show you the correct consistency. We are now done. And this is the exact consistency that you two should be getting at home once you try out this recipe. Yes, I have said that I personally eyeball, but because you are a beginner or you want to learn how to make perfect crepes, the exact quantities for this recipe are listed on my blog. So use that as a blueprint as you, as you try out this recipe. This is the consistency I'm talking about. No, no. Very light, quite viscous. And this is what will give you the perfect paper-like crepes with a nice soft consistency and those that fold or roll very easily. This is the consistency you get. And in case you adjust your ingredients to include more flour, just add a bit more milk. Once you get this consistency, that's when you know you are on the right path. The secret is in the consistency. Also at this stage, if you taste 
and you find that the crepes are not as sweet as you fancy add more sugar give it one more mix and you're ready to go for us we are done with this step we are now ready to go and proceed with the cooking the cooking is just as simple so behind me is a pan you can use any pan you like this is a stainless steel pan and as you can see mine is very lightly greased i only grease it at the beginning and i don't grease it during the subsequent adding of the crepes and that's because my pan does not any who are high stick but if yours has a different quality just lightly grease it what we ngine huweka mafuta nyingi hadi inakani kama una deep fry the the crepes please just a light coating is enough i recommend that you use either butter or margarine as it allows the crepes to get nice evenly brown and golden you cannot achieve the same thing if you use oil so please use either butter or margarine while cooking for me today i'm using some margarine guys my shoes are quite expensive so <laughs> i'm going to use what's cheap and still functional I have a serving over here and the purpose of this is to grease the circumference of your crepe that will allow the circumference to be nice and crunchy while the rest is very pillowy and soft i love that contrast in texture and i'm sure it's something you're really going to enjoy as well so with that said guys let's get cooking Guys, as I always explain, simple doesn't mean boring. Easy doesn't mean ugly, and this is a true testament to that very statement. My crepes look absolutely beautiful, and you have seen for yourself how simple they are to make. They smell so amazing, and I can't wait to go right in. Atun chukwe haka kadogo. Hmm. Hmm. Absolutely divine. Hmm. 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 Mm. I can't wait for you guys to try this out. The circumference is nice and crispy. The body itself is very spongy and super soft. The crepes fold so easily because of the light butter and this makes for a fantastic bite. So aromatic, perfectly sweet and an absolute delight to have. I can't wait for you guys to try this out. These crepes are listed under my breakfast playlist. There are so many bomb recipes on that playlist. So I'd love for you to try this out. And on top of that, please review that whole playlist. There's so much I want you guys to really indulge and try out at home. And I want you to also make a playlist of your own from my recipes and quite honestly from any other food YouTuber and let me know what's on your playlist and what are you planning to make this weekend. I really hope these crepes are part of it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video guys. As always, it's an eternal pleasure to be your teacher and I hope you've learned something from this video. Please subscribe if you're yet to and if you already have, Asantini Sana. I appreciate your presence and thank you for always being here. See you on my next video guys. Bye!